Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Finally, Samsung revealed the S24 Ultra and I pre-ordered my unit that will arrive by the end of this month, but I couldn't wait to try Samsung's version of the Pixel 8 Magic Editor called Photo Assist. So I went to the Samsung store nearby to try it myself on some of the photos I already tested on my Pixel 8 Pro to see if Samsung can deliver the same results using the much more powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or Google is still the king of AI. It depends on how you're gonna take this as good or bad news, but unfortunately the S24 Ultra is nowhere near the Pixel 8 Pro in this matter, so let me show you the results. I sent to the store unit 3 of my photos to reposition myself in the frame as shown in Samsung's demo. Starting with the easiest one, I did exactly the same thing on the S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro. As you see here, both features work exactly the same. You first select the subject, pinch to zoom, and position it wherever you want. So let's take a look at the results. In this scenario, the S24 Ultra did a great job in filling the gaps and it matches the pixel quality. But the 8 Pro gives you multiple iterations with the ability to regenerate another set of photos while the S24 Ultra only provides one result plus it doesn't give the option to regenerate. So the quality is equal but the pixel has the edge for being more flexible. Now let's move on to the second photo and in this scenario I wanted to raise my friend which is also possible with the photo assist so let's give it a try. And that's when the S24 Ultra started to struggle. First, it didn't fill in the area behind his head. The rest of the building doesn't match the generated part. And on top of this, there is no way to regenerate better results. Looking at the pixel, it provided me with multiple options and all of them look very convincing. And if there is any error, it's minor and hard to notice. So it's another win for the 8 Pro. Now let's try the third scenario. This time I want to see if the S24 Ultra will be able to draw the missing part of my shoulder, t-shirt and arm. Starting with the 8 Pro, it was able to fill in everything with an insane level of accuracy. It extended my shoulder, arm and even the branding on my t-shirt. Looking at the S24 Ultra, it did nothing other than moving the subject, leaving the gaps as is, which is a third win for the Pixel 8 Pro. But I also found that each company has its own exclusive features. For example, the S24 Ultra can allow you to rotate the image, which is a nice touch, and fill in the gaps using generative AI, which is missing from the Pixel. On the other hand, the Pixel gives you different styling options to the scene, like changing the sky color, convert it to a golden hour, and more, which is missing from the S24 Ultra. So overall, when it comes to the quality, the 8 Pro is miles ahead. You won't notice a big difference in simple scenarios like the first photo, but when things get complicated, that's when the 8 Pro really shines. I know it sounds disappointing for Samsung fans, but this is the reality at least for now, but I have to say that I was really impressed by the build quality and the performance of the S24 Ultra when I tried it in the store. So stay tuned for my heavy workload test because I think it will be very interesting with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 because 8 Gen 2 was already ahead of the competition, so imagine how Gen 3 will do. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between Google's Magic Editor and Samsung's Photo Assist. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.